Hi Riz. Hi. Oh. Hi there. This is Shai Resnick from HiRes.io, and today I want to show you a cool tip that might save you hours of time and the idea for this video came after I went through the code of some of my clients and saw this mistake keep happening over and over again and causing some unexpected and really crazy to debug bugs His name is John C. the solution for this problem is super simple that once you understand why is it happening it's really really easy to fix and to avoid from the get-go so instead of babbling about it let's jump into the code what you see here I generated an angular CLI project and this is the app component as you can see here it's just default app component so I just added a get welcoming message method which is a simple method which takes a username and returns hello with that username you can think about it like a website like this with the header and here is the company logo and here are some links and here when a user logs in he sees this hello username message so this is the get welcoming message okay so let's come back here so now let's try and write a test for it so to write a test for it we need to first get an instance of the component so let's declare component under test which will be of the app component and we'll create a new instance of it now we want to invoke this method and get welcoming message and we'll pass shy because we're testing that the username is shy here and we want to get the result value so let's put it in a variable called actual result because this is the actual result <laughs> and the Declare it here, actual result of type any. Great. Now we're getting into the test itself, which we is we want to test the actual result equals to well hello and shy. Great. Now let's run ng test here in the bottom in the terminal. And basically, if you think about it, what we just did is we're passing the shy, it gets here, and then it gets concatenated with the hello here. We are just testing this that the return value is what we think it is. And let's see, yes, we get a passing test here. So now to illustrate the problem that uh, people are causing to their test, we will duplicate this uh, test and replace the name to, let's say, David. Shout out to David, uh, the video editor of hi -res. So now let's run the test and basically we didn't change anything, we just changed the name, so everything should work. And it does work because this is a very simple method, right? It just takes everything from its parameters and just returns. It doesn't have any side effects, like sets any property outside its uh, scope, okay? Like if we add some kind of a property here, uh, it doesn't affect it, so everything is good and simple. But now let's introduce a property on the component which this is what happens in real life, right? In real life, everything is not pure like this function. We do get uh, down and dirty sometimes with uh, properties on our components and services. So let's add a greeting, uh, greeting word. Let's call it greeting word. And we just give it the default value of hello. And here we just like, let's uh, just give it here. Oh, right, we need that this. So what we see here is that this greeting word is coming from here. And if we rerun the test, Let's let's check the bottom of the yeah, we see that the tests are passing because we didn't change the logic, we just passed thing around, okay? And we just extracted the hello into a property outside of the method itself. Now, mistake demonstration time. <laughs> let's say we want to localize our app and have a greeting based on the user, but let's say shy here, hey shy. Uh, likes cowboys, so he want to have like username is shy and uh, greeting is howdy. So shy likes the howdy. So let's expect that shy is gonna equal howdy shy, and we save the file and we see, of course, an error because it expects uh, hello shy to be howdy shy, and we didn't change the greeting word which is hello, so uh, it currently returns hello shy. So let's change it here real quickly. Great. Uh, greeting words is uh, howdy. Awesome. 
Now, before I save, let's run over this uh, script. So basically, what we did here is that we changed this greeting word. So now it's it won't be hello, it will be howdy. So what we did is that we changed it to howdy. This is what we did here. So now, uh, when we pass it shy, it will be shy with howdy and shy. So the, it will return to this actual result. It will return howdy shy. So the actual result will be howdy shy and it should be equal to howdy shy, right? So this test should pass. So let's save and see what happens. What do you say? Will this test pass or not? I just showed you with no tricks up my sleeve that <laughs> this test should pass. All the logic is correct. Right? So now it's howdy, not hello. Now let's save and boom! We have a failing test. Let's check it out. What the hell is David got to do with our test? So we see that this test username is David is now failing. Why are you failing, David? Not you, David. This test is failing because we have an interesting situation going on here. And it's because of this line. So this line mess up the entire test. Why is that? Let's see. Anything that is uh, declared in the describe and has an assignment, so this little friend equal here is causing the trouble. So everything that has an assignment here, when you declare the variables, basically gets assigned only once. And it's being shared between each test. Okay, so let me say it again. We declare the app component and it gets into the component under test. And now we have this instance and we change some state on this instance, which is the grading word. But then nothing resets this component under test before it gets to here. So basically the username is David test gets the same instance that got the greeting word changed to howdy. So when we call the get welcoming message with David, it's still howdy David. And we expect it to be hello David. And this is the error message we see here. So we see that we are sharing the same component under under test instance because of this equal which is here okay so you probably have done it yourself or you probably saw someone putting the equal here so what's the solution to that and again this describe method is running only once so this statement will run only once so the solution is to move it to a function called before each, which gets another function. And now everything that we'll do here will run every time before each test, okay? So the solution is to move every assignment you ever have to here. And that's it. Now we can delete this assignment and this will run before each and every test. So it will run once, this test will run, it will run second time and now this test will run. So we'll get a fresh new instance of the app component inside of the component under test for this uh, test and for this test. So the greeting word will get reset to its default value before the second test. This is good. If we won't do that, if we keep it with the equal sign, we are basically creating a situation where one test is depending on the other test. And this is a big no-no if you saw the TDD theory course. Tests shouldn't rely on one another, okay? So they shouldn't like set some state that the other test should rely upon because you cannot assume that the order will be this test will run after this test. Okay, so the solution again is to move all of your equal signs uh, to a before each function or even an it function but whatever you do never add the equal sign where you declare the value the variables okay mark it tattoo that on your forehead but backwards so you could read it in the mirror never put <laughs> an equal sign in the declaration line and now we moved the assignment to a before each, which will run before. And now let's save and just prove all the mumbo jumbo that I'm telling you for like the past few minutes. And let's hit save and see the test pass. Ta -da! <laughs> One more tip I want to leave you with. I prepared another test. 
uh, here and let's close this. This is how I write my test. You probably won't find here a before each function or an it function because I wrote my test with a given, when and then functions. And also you have this uh, Deskbed with the providers array, with the component inside of the providers array. What the hell is that? Um, by the way, if you want to learn why I did all that and why I'm using given and when and then and why I'm declaring this shenanigans, uh, check out the Angular unit testing basics course uh, where we cover live examples of what is the reason behind it. But the other tip that I want to leave you with is here. You see, won't find any equal signs in my test. Um, and you will also find that I reset all of my values uh, before I use them. So after I declare a variable, I always reset it to a default value, okay? So it's usually close to where I declared it. And if you won't do that, you are causing the same type of hidden bug that I showed you with, the, with this problem, with adding an equal here, uh, if you don't reset. So you want to always reset all of your variables in the first before each or given function, whichever flavor you use, you're using uh, to a default value. So two things to take away from this video. One is never ever have an equal sign in the declaration. Okay, I hope I made it, this one clear. And always reset um, your declaration, something you declared like a variable uh, near its declaration, but inside of the before each function or given function with the default value, always. So that was interesting, wasn't it? I hope this was helpful and if it was, please comment below and if it's on YouTube and if not, just hit me up on my email shy at highres.io and just tell me if it helped you. I think it's helpful and it helped uh, my clients and my other students. So I want to just share it with you today. Again, if you want to learn more about Angular testing and how, like what are the best practices and how to write your tests in, in a way that doesn't leave you insane, so check out the link below, I will have a link below here I will take care of you if you know what I mean in a purely medical way I hope you enjoyed it and see you on the next video sometimes you wanna go